it's being shown. You can touch it. But here, the, the, the giants here are the ancient Cretans. They're being depicted as giants. Now, we, we'd say to them, is it symbolic or is it actual? Why does it have to be either or? Why can it not be both? They could have been giants, but giants of mind. Uh -huh. Okay, depicted. Showing here what obviously Chris first pointed this out in 90, 1998 in the uh, Giza Power Plant. This is a crook's tomb, obviously. Again, some people will say, and I won't mention names, that this is just symbolic. Why does it have to be both? This shows a knowledge of electricity that was there. Why, if it's symbolic, do you have a wire being plugged into a box? I thought that was symbolic. Of course. Yeah. And this is the backbone of Osiris. Oh. The, the Jed pillar. Jed. Jed pillar. Where they come to the name, uh, used in Arabic today in, in Egypt, Jeddah means grandpa. Papa, uh, Hakim was always called Jeddah. Jeddah. Jed pillar. But what it is, the backbone of Osiris opus represents a spinal column. Electricity being produced. This is producing electricity. Clearly. So if we see that elsewhere, that's the backbone. That's that the, the jet pillar. I'll the point jet it out. Pillar. Jet pillar. Yes. Now, to finish it, you have to go against the wall to see the final scene. Wait, 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 sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. You'll get time to take the picture. Oh, yes, I will. Okay, okay. yes. As soon as we go. Sorry, I don't want to Next do that. Next scene. We just want to finish the story. Yeah, yeah. Again, giants, commissions, the same thing. But here, the beam, and again, the snake is always Kundalini energy, always electricity. The beam is being deflected. Why is it being, he's holding up these knives. This creature, argument, it's always an argument what this creature is. Hakim said this is the baboon, the companion of Jehoti Toth, and it's a symbol of wisdom. But Hike Wesselman, who came with me, who was an anthropologist, said, no, that baboons don't have tails like this. He thought it was a reptile. Whatever it is, whatever you want to Oops. think. But it is a creature, the, uh, Hakim would say, it is the texts that tell us what's happening here. Uh. The texts say, that this is a knowledge of credible energy and wisdom that can be abused. Ah. This is the origin of the myth of Atlantis right here, folks, from the old kingdom of Egypt, saying that the ancient people had a great knowledge, a great technology that could be abused in modern times. This is a warning to the dynastic people from the ancient commissions, that first written in the modern script, that great knowledge was known, a great wisdom can be abused. That's the warning. And here he's showing the knowledge of, he's got That's under control still, with both oh. hands, snake, staff, mm. they have the knowledge of electricity, clearly. Mm. Anybody can argue symbolic all they want. Mm. This shows they had an actual practical knowledge of electricity. So with the two knives yeah. that are being whole, is, could it be symbolic of one can, one can cut and make you bleed and the other can cut and be of use? So mm. either it's, it's of use or it's of abuse. Very good, because Hakim would totally agree with that. Everything's in polarities, everything's in duality, and he's using both hands. Right. Exactly. Mm. But the text warns against the abuse of this knowledge. Wow.